welcome back to three horror games. Welcome to The Apartment. This is by uh, Max Horror. Those of you uh, who have been watching this series uh, since the start, I guess, uh, will know that we've done another Max Horror game. <laughs> I can see you. We've done another Max Horror game. I can't remember what the game was called, so I do apologize. Uh, but without further ado, uh, I'm not, not sure what it's, what it's about. I think it's about 10 minutes long. Uh, but let's just, um, let's just crack on. Do it. Cripes, already. Uh, I have not heard from my brother for a few weeks now and I start to worry a bit. I've decided to go visit him in his apartment to see if there is anything wrong. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, hang on, okay, cool. Right, okay, we've got a super sensitive mouse, but that is okay. That is okay. Okay, I'm not wearing my glasses. I know you thinking, I'll wear my glasses because I, uh... I've been feeling dizzy for a few weeks. I I did. I've done actually. I've actually filmed um, Happy's Humble Burger Farm Part Two. I do explain in that um, why why I'm not wearing my glasses. So wait for that video and you'll find out why. I mean, this place this place is creepy. So it's called the apartment. So I guess it's going to be some kind of haunted apartment. Bottle recycling machine. Can I use the said bottle recycling machine? No, I can't. This is it. Apartment twenty four. Excellent. Can I go down here? It would be instant death. No, I'll go down there. This looks great. Um, cool. Right, apartment twenty-four. Crap, I thought that was a flipping figure then. Right, cool. Lovely. <laughs> it's in the basement, coming from the trees. I like the design. I, I love pixel horror. And pixel horror is great. There should be more pixel horror in the world. The f the roots. Roots everywhere. What the hell is that? And a coffee. Coffee cup. Cripes alive! This is creepy as hell. Light switch. <gasps> I want to go in there and see what's what's up. I'm probably going to have to get a flashlight or something. Uh, roots of evil. Don't go down there. Oh, Christ. Oh, shoot. I'm not liking this at all. Oh. Nah. Roots. So something to do with. So there's something to do with. Uh, oh, keys for the kitchen door. Good. So uh, it, it's got to be something to do with uh, these this stuff that's uh, coming out the ground. Oh. Oh, mate. Good sound design as well. It's very creepy. Right. Anything in the breezer? No. Oh, look. We can get in there. What's this? Keys for the bedroom door. Keys for the bedroom door. Can I open any of these? What's... There's a bone in the pan. Oh, I don't know. It's obviously going to be a... Bedroom. <gasps> oh, what's this? The Book of the Occult. Okay, I've got, I've got a lighter. Oh, I need that for. Bloody lighter. Do I need to burn the roots? Oh, 
A mirror. Crikey! Oh, I can hear the footsteps. It's dreadful. So, can I get... There's a utility room in the hallway. Oh! There we go. Oh, yes, of course. The utility room is here, isn't it? Okay, so this is just a cupboard. A closet. Is this gonna be it? Oh, it's just a bathroom. So the guy was in here, just chillaxing. So is this the, is he the reason? Okay, excellent. Right, uh, I've got keys for a utility room. I'm guessing it's up here. This is the final door. Oh, shoot. Okay, I've got keys for something. Can I get out? I can get out. Oh, in the hallway, yes. Of course, of course. Right, so apparently there's a utility room down here somewhere. Um, which is going to be nice, isn't it, eh? Oh, look. There's roots coming out of the thing now. Oh, mate, this is weird. Where's this utility room? 21. Why is the light flickering? Very strange. Right, exit. But where's the utility room? Yo, is this it? Oh, this must be. Ah, here we are. Good. Let's get this, uh... Here we are. What, what apartment was it? Do I need, a like, a handle or something? Oh, mate, I don't know. I need to switch the breaker box on. But there's a man! There's a man in the corridor! How do I switch the breaker box back on? Oh. Look at neck. There's a man. Oh, <laughs> no! See you later, bro. Woo. Oh, <laughs> oh flipping heck. Right, let's get the get the power back on. Okay. Oh no! No! Oh, good. Okay, good. Oh, that seemed to work. Whatever I did, just like sitting in the corner. So I need to go back to the apartment now. Weird. They're growing. Growing big time. That door's ruined. Don't go down there. Oh, mate, this place is absolutely wrecked now. Oh, yes. The, the basement it said don't go down there but you know for the sake of um completion i guess i'm gonna have to this is where it all comes from well it's growing from somewhere mate that's gruff get out of here and get some help all right oh shoot the 
The big man's back. Me have ya. What's he made of? Is he made of rubber bands or something? Oh, look. Oh, wow. The roots have really spread now. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Did enjoy that. It's pretty fun. Pretty creepy. Sound design is really good. I love pixel horror anyway. Uh, but yeah. Um, the link to this game is down there if you want to play it. It's like, like I said, it's only kind of 10 to 12 minutes long. But very, very cool. Very cool. Oh, cool. I've got a little axe cursor. That's pretty sick. Hit you over the head like, yeah. Uh, welcome to uh, The Red Hood. I think it's like a, th a horror game based on Little Red Riding Hood. Maybe? Uh, so, <laughs> again, I don't really know much about it. Uh, I found it about 10 minutes long. Uh, so, for the second game of three horror games number 10, let's uh, let's just give it a go. See, what, see, what, see what it's all about. Run. Never stop. Choose the right way to avoid a strange serial killer from the forest. If you die, you will start the game from the beginning. Good luck. You need it. <laughs> okay. Permadeath. Stop. Don't stop. Oh my gosh! It's behind me! Look at the physics on this candle! This is proper. Die. Oh gosh, die. Death. Where am I going? Where am I going? Go this way. I don't know where I'm going. What have I got? A basket? Of course I have. No, we're riding it. Uh, straight, uh, straight ahead. That's where I'm supposed to be going. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, red mist. Oh, red mist. Okay, I need to run away from the red mist and not run one into the uh, the douchebag. So I've got to get to the end of something. Uh, okay, fine. I went the other way this last time. No mist. No. Oh, I need to go right. Okay. I need to go right first. Where there's mist down there, I think, yeah. Uh, if you see mist, turn around if you can. So the first the first uh, section I need, to, I need to go right. And hopefully not run into uh, Mr. Riding Hood down here. Seems to be the right way. I, mean, I, I guess I don't have much time to look. Oh, cripes. Uh, this way. No! No! Come on! Come on! Ah, oh, shoot! I got caught by the red mist. <sighs> okay. I need to remember which direction. So I assume it's... So it's left and then left, I guess. Oh, mate, can I turn off the head bob? Flip an egg. Clear my eyes. Me motion sickness. So it's right and then the next intersection is left. So right, left. I guess I need to remember down here this time. Uh, I went straight on last time. Right, left, straight ahead. Right, left, straight ahead, left. <laughs> the end. Oh, okay. Exit man you. Um... So I guess I completed the game. Was I? Did I complete the game? Yeah, it's right. <laughs> it's 
a bit weird. I, I, I kind of hope there's going to be more. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it was alright. Uh, it's good for one of these kind of videos, which is like a three horror games compilation. But yeah, again, if you want to download it, game is down there. Go and uh, download it and support the developer if you wish. Uh, but yeah, uh, on to the next one. Hello everyone and welcome to... Welcome to Too Far Gone. And this is a game, as you can see, by Kay Simpson. Um, I, I, again, I'm not too sure. I'm going to these blinds, so I don't know really what's, what this is all about. Um, I just see a game, look at a couple of screenshots, and uh, download it if I like the look of it. So, let's just begin. <laughs> Good start. Creepy start. Very loud. What have we got? Got some tally marks on the wall. Great. I'll do that. Oh, cripes. Okay, cool. All right, fine. Slam doors! Haunted. This place haunted. It is everywhere. The slamming doors everywhere. Canteen. Well, I'm pretty hungry, so I might go and get a bite. <laughs> hey. Escape. Good job I have not got a weak heart. Okay, so uh, this is the, the canteen. What? 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 Uh, well, I don't, I don't know if I actually got stabbed. Apparently I have annoyed someone. I don't know why I'm here. I woke up in a cell. Oh, look, there's a little blood stain in there. Nice, nice. Oh, right, right, didn't see it. What was it? Knives. Okay, fine. Okay. Got the classic creepy ambiance. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> All right. Nice. Um I can't I can't go in these. I don't know what I'm doing. What's I supposed to be doing? Where am I where do I go? Like a Oh for f oh. <laughs> oh, I'm back. A doctor knows best. Visit the clinic now. All right. The Ward 12. It's down here. So this is where I came in. Elevator that way. Well, you can go both ways then, I guess, because arrows are pointing in both directions. Ward 12. I wonder what's in Ward 12. What's in here? Look, we got some lore. Dr. M. John. Journal entry. 12th of November, or December 11th, 1957. Most of the subjects are displaying the interesting results to the new substances. Most interesting is that some subjects become increasingly volatile and highly aggressive, so please, take some safety notice with that. Be careful. Subjects increasingly volatile. Take the pill, get better. Simple as that. What can be more simple than that, huh? Some syringes on the side. Can I open any of these? I cannot. Okay, fine. Alright. What's this? Is that anything I need? What's, what is it? It looks like a monster or something? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Dr. Smith, subject 11. Oh, that's right. I did read something. I am subject 11. Me. Me. I am expendable, apparently. Uh, literally a complete lunatic and a pain to force his treatment upon him. He's also been sketching more of those creepy drawings. Claims there's a monster taking over. Probably something to do with the medication we're giving him. Not that morals and ethics matter over science, because they really don't. 
So this is these are the creepy drawings that he's been drawing, the monster. And it's hard to uh, impose their or give them his their treatment. Um, so I'm guessing they tried to inject him and he killed, I guess, killed the doctor, I'm guessing. It's just a little, little inkling here, but uh, yeah. What else we got? More. Damn, these lab rats are hard to jab. Their aggression is getting harder to control. Took several jabs to keep the last one docile. Could be worse. To, could be worse though. I could have to deal with Subject Eleven again. So Subject Eleven is a pretty bad man. Hear anything strange? Get checked up on as soon as possible. And I'm hearing a creepy kind of laughter. You know, trying to kill me. Is the laughter trying to kill me? I don't know. Anyway, all right. Okay. Um. So we need to go all the way back around again. Uh, so I've been in there. And go down this corridor here, which says something here. The shadows live. The treatment's that way. So I'm... So I'm subject 11. And I am a, a lunatic, apparently. Oh, good, need a key. Excellent. What have happened to uh, Case 2 Animatronic Survival? That's a good game, but they... It was supposed to be Chapter 4. And then it never came out. I think he's working. Christ! <laughs> it's supposed to be working on it. Um, I don't know where it is. Key, excellent. Let's get jump scared to get a key. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, these are the drawings. I keep... Subject 11 keeps uh, drawing keep creepy drawings. Um, and I suppose I'm going to see that, that, uh, that creepy monster eventually. So I need to go down and unlock this door. Now... God, oh, there it is! Monster. Mm. Quite a few jump scares in this, uh, I'll be honest. Yeah? Oh, no, hang on, it's down here. Had three jump scares already. <laughs> oh, there's a red eyes, he's chasing me. Ah, <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> what? Cursed to the halls of the asylum, subject 11 in the end, perished the treatment provided. Confined to haunt the asylum wards forever. Well, that was too far gone. Quite a lot of jump scares. I don't know what the uh, the things were. Were they the haunting of the doctors? I guess that he the staff that he murdered. Maybe I don't know. But uh, he's a lunatic. Subject eleven apparently, um, and he's haunting the asylum wards forever. He's dead, and he's he's a ghost. I would have known from the game that I'm subject eleven. I mean, I wouldn't have known that I'm subject 11. Because it says on the H.io page that, it, that you are subject 11. But I wouldn't have known that. Um, I would have thought, oh, who's subject 11? There we go. That was um, that was that game. But that was three horror games. Uh, I hope you did enjoy three horror games number 10. Uh, I will be back soon with another three horror games. I'm still looking for more games to play on H.io. Uh, all the links to the games will be down there in the description. Um, but yeah, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you aren't already. And comment down below what you thought about the individual games. Uh, for now guys, take care and I will see you in the next one.